It's a little piece of India in Canada. Indian origin families marking Ganesh Chaturthi in Brampton. Kids born in Canada with parents who moved to the North American country tens of years ago. However, this year's celebration is underlaid with a tinge of anxiety over what lies in store for them as India and Canada slug it out in the diplomatic arena. I have gotten a call from my uh, uh, friends that their children have come here and they are asking how the situation is. I have told them that on the ground level, the situation is safe, don't be afraid. But now I have a fault in them. Canada is among the top seven nations with an Indian origin population. While US tops the list with nearly 44 and a half lakh Indians, UAE and Malaysia follow far behind. Saudi Arabia, Myanmar and UK are the other countries with a sizable Indian population. Canada had an Indian population of nearly 17 lakh in 2021. There is a general perception among the Indian origin population that the Modi government's tough stance is long overdue. India has done the initiative कि ये जो एक्टिविटी इधर बढ़ रही है उसको कंट्रोल तो लाना ही पड़ेगा और ये आपको लग रहा है कुछ खालिस्तानी एक्टिविटी बढ़ रही है और उससे आप लोगों की पर कुछ असर पड़ सकता है फॉर श्योर सपोज इफ इफ ही इज नॉट कंट्रोल बाय द बाय द कैनेडियन कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट नेवर नो what can we are not safe here then पीपल लाइक गुरप should the people coming from India not be worried? No, they should not be. They should not be because Mr. Panu has no local standing here, even in 1% of the total Indian or a Sikh population here. Okay. So uh, I don't think that is going to have an effect. This is the most unfortunate statement. Indian residents in Canada are, however, comfortable in the fact that the ties between the two countries are not too fragile to stand the test of these trying times. Both the nations are top tourist destinations for each other. In 2022, Canadian tourists were the fifth largest group by nationality to visit India, with nearly 2.8 lakh arrivals. For Indians, Canada was the ninth most popular destination with UAE, Saudi Arabia, US, Singapore and Thailand being the top five. Importantly, it is the money which Indians abroad send back home which makes them such a powerful force in the economy. Indians remitted $112.5 billion in financial year 2023 with Canada's share at about 4% or about $4.5 billion. Canada is also an important agriculture partner with India, importing nearly 20% of its dal supplies, particularly masoor dal from Canada. India also imported a billion dollars worth of coking coal, crucial to make steel, from Canada last fiscal. Other imports included potassium chloride, critical for fertilizers, newsprint and wood pulp. In return, Canada brought about $200 million worth of medicines and more than a million dollars of seafood and mobile handsets from India. Nearly a hundred million dollars worth of jewellery was also exported. But it is the human capital which is the real binding tie between India and Canada. Other than the Indian origin residents in Canada, 2.26 lakh Indian students joined Canadian universities last year adding to the 3.2 lakh students who are already there. The number, in fact, made Indians the largest student group to enter Canada last year. With Anisha Mathur in Brampton, Canada, Bureau Report, India Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.